Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport and the 10th episode of One Race Wonders. And today we will be taking a look back at the one I have been excited to do since the beginning. The story of Ernst Luf. It's a very sad one. As I stated all the way back in the first episode of One Race Wonders, looking at the very brief career of Marco Apicella, it is Luf who has the shortest F1 career, not Apicella or Guerra. Ernst Luf barely made it six feet from start to finish, all down to a faulty fuel pump, and as he never lined up on the grid again, that was that. A six foot Formula One career. I'm six foot. Ernst Luf drove the distance of me in Formula One. That is pretty unbelievable. Well, let's go back even further and try to understand how Ernst Luf got on that grid in the first place. If you saw my episode on Adolf Broods, then congratulations. You can probably skip to the end because it's not that much different. Ernst Luf had some early success pre-war on motorbikes racing for Imperius and BMW up until the start of the war. He was also a talented engineer working for BMW and would be part of the development of the 328 which is a very important car not just to motorsport but also car design in general. Once the war finished the Allies claimed the 328 for themselves with the likes of Bristol making their own versions of the 328 engine based on captured designs, and many of these found their way into Formula 2 cars of the early 50s. And as a lot of large manufacturers from before the war were in tatters or completely destroyed and weren't producing race cars, seeing a gap in the market Ernst Luf was part founder of the Veritas car company and from a scrap bin made up the Veritas Meteor a hugely important car in the recovery of Germany as a motor racing nation, as all the young German talent flocked to the incredibly pretty Meteor, and they were often seen racing in Formula 2 or in non-championship Grand Prix, but especially the German Formula 1 Grand Prix, often as Formula 2 entries. And never really doing that well, the Meteor was an important part of the German grid in those early days of Formula 1, whilst the likes of Mercedes recovered from the war. During this time, Ernst Luf didn't actually do a lot of racing. In fact, in his life, he may have only entered a handful of car races. By 1953, he was struggling with bankruptcy and would only enter two races. First, a non-championship race, the 23rd Grand Prix des Frontières, held near the town of Chimay in Belgium. It didn't go well for Ernst Luf, he would last just two laps before his meteor ground to a halt. The race incidentally was won by Maurice Trintingent, who would go on and have a long and successful Formula 1 career. Ernst Luf would have a go at one more race before giving it up for good, and that race was the 1953 German Grand Prix at the Nürburgring. Ernst Luf would qualify in 31st, over two minutes off the pole time of Alberto Ascari, who would dominate this race. Ernst Luf, as mentioned, didn't have a great race. It started, his fuel pump broke, he slowly crawled to a halt just six feet from his starting position, and things don't get any less sad from there. Veritas would go out of business shortly thereafter, and Luf would end up working for BMW again, he would design a sleek looking roadster for them, but had a lot of striking visual similarities with the Veritas RS he had made previously, and within three years of his one and only Formula 1 appearance, Ernst Luf would pass away with a brain tumour in 1956, aged just 48. After 1953, the Veritas Meteor disappeared from German Grand Prix, although a single Klenk Meteor entered by Hans Klenk and driven by Theo Helfrich, who is himself a one race wonder, this car would race in the 1954 German Grand Prix. This was of course a slightly modified Veritas Meteor and would retire after 8 laps with problems with the BMW engine. But that was the very short career of Ernst Luf, one of those weird facts that you never really need to know 
but does make you go, hmm, that's kind of interesting. But thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more One Race Wonders, there is a playlist all made up and ready, and I will be adding more episodes to it. So why not subscribe whilst you're here, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Again, thank you so much, and have a good one.